The 17th century flute was the recorder, which is kind of like an organ pipe. You put the air into it, you can't make the sound more intense or more diffuse or paler, or you, you just can't vary, vary it. So the transverse flute became the popular flute of the 18th century because the performer could modulate the sound. It's got the same holes as the Renaissance flute, but it has a key now down here. And because you can't finger all the semitones, you have to produce some of the notes by opening a hole and then stopping a hole farther down. This creates a sound which is very, very pale. So if I were going to play a chromatic scale, you can hear many different sound colors inherent in that scale. Uh, if I were to force them into the trumpet flute sound of the 20th century, um, first of all, it would be ugly. And it would be very out of tune. So uh, composers knew the scale of the instrument and they were very aware of the tones that were a paler color and they wrote accordingly in keys that either showed off these pale notes for greatest expressivity or they avoided them if they wanted the flute to sound strong. The other flute uh, is modeled after an instrument that was, we think, built around 1790. It has the same basic holes and the same key, but it has seven other keys as well. I can basically guess that fashions changed. People got tired of hearing the pale notes because the keys that were added specifically address the pale notes and uh, allow you to play them with the same intensity as the notes of the native scale. So um, I'll play the D major scale. This is a different pitch. And then on this flute, I'll use the same forked fingerings that I used on the other flute to give you the pale sounds. And now I'll play the, that same scale using the keys so that you can hear, even though it's a little bumpy getting to the keys, you'll hear that they've been fortified. So color is sort of out, intensity is in. These instruments provide a more astonishing sound, I'd have to say, because the colors are just much more interesting. I think American Classical Orchestra is a fantastic ensemble and we all really get up for the performances because it's repertoire that we love playing so much. <laughs>